Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on what is React Native on IntelliPath. Do you know friends that React Native is an ideal platform for reducing the development cost while maintaining its true native speed and user experience flexibility. React Native has several fantastic advantages including numerous of ready to go templates, an army of passionate contributors and a swarm of fans. It has key users such as Tesla, Skype and Instagram. Now before we learn more about what is React Native, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So let's discuss our agenda first. So we are going to start first with what is React Native. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss about uses of React Native. Then we are going to learn about important features of React Native. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss its competitive advantages. Then we are going to deep dive into its competitive disadvantages. And at the end, we are going to discuss the conclusion. So let's start with what is React Native. React Native is a JavaScript framework for creating natively rendered mobile apps for iOS and Android. It's built on React, Facebook's JavaScript toolkit for creating user interfaces. But instead of being aimed at browsers, it aimed at mobile platform. In other words, web developers can now create mobile applications that look and feel fully native, all while using the same familiar and beloved JavaScript library, which is React. Furthermore, because most of the code you create can be shared across platforms, React Native makes it simple to develop for both Android and iOS at the same time. React Native applications like React for the web are built in JSX, a combination of JavaScript and XML-like syntax. The React Native bridge then calls the native rendering APIs in Objective-C for iOS or Java for Android. As a result, your application will appear and feel like any other mobile application because it will be rendered using genuine mobile UI and components rather than web views. React Native exposes JavaScript interfaces for platform APIs, allowing you for React Native apps to utilize platform capabilities such as phone camera or user's location. I hope so guys, it's clear to you what is React Native. Now let's move forward and discuss the uses of React Native. React Native was first used in Facebook's Ad Manager. Ad Manager or Advertising Manager is Facebook's first complete React Native app that is cross-platform in nature. It offers appealing UI, smart UX and simple navigational procedures that provide a positive user experience. It was first available for Android and afterward on iOS. The Facebook Ads Manager is an important tool for the online community since it allows users to access and track their paid marketing campaigns from their mobile devices. The next is we have is Mintra. Mintra is a well-known brand in the world of retailers and online shopping for fashion and lifestyle items, particularly in India. It provides the best user experience, safe and robust shopping bargains and everything else that a buyer would want. React Native has significantly aided Mintra in showcasing a gorgeous catalog of products placing orders, exhibiting profiles, and appealing user experience and design, and so on. React Native is used on the majority of the apps, iOS, and Android interfaces. Since React Native offers bulk scaling, Mintra has used this technology to revamp its apps. Next is Airbnb. Airbnb is a well-known app in the global online housing sector. Airbnb's development team has been using React Native because of its reusability and refactoring capabilities. This proved to be a significant benefit for Airbnb's mobile app. Next application we will talk about is Uber Eats. This well-known meal delivery app has been employing React Native to provide its customer with a better UI and UX experience. A mobile or desktop based dashboard for restaurants has been designed with React Native and includes various capabilities such as push and sound notifications. With React Native, Uber Eats was able to integrate the many parties such as restaurant drivers, customers, and together. Scalability, online payment, use of local functions, and other React Native characteristics have been crucial in motivating Uber Eats to use this technology. Now let's discuss the important features of React Native. The first one is open source. It's encouraging to know that many other popular or open source projects and hundreds if not millions of developers throughout the world are utilizing this identical technology confronting comparable difficulties and encountering comparable flaws. So React Native 
has a very good community and it's an open source project by Facebook. Next is it is intuitive and modular. Other developers can easily delve into and rely on someone else's project. This provides flexibility within a development team and makes web application updates and upgrades easier. Also testers will need less time to understand the programming logic and create appropriate testing scenarios. This might result in significant time savings which is a message that for any customer or CFO would like hearing. The next important feature is code reusability and cost saving. Using React Native, the same code can be used for both iOS and Android deployment. This strategy significantly reduces improvement, time and cost by half. Actually, the cost savings may be slightly lower, but they are still significant enough to justify the investment. According to the recent estimations, over 90% of the code may be reused between Android and iOS, although it may be prudent to factor in some extra time for practical tweaks. The next and most important feature is Live Reload. React Native is mobile next step after React. It extends on React concepts and allows you to create sophisticated mobile applications. Moreover, React Native has an intriguing additional feature that is not found in native frameworks. The Live Reload function which allows you to rapidly see the effect of most recent modification that you have made to the code. I hope so guys, it's clear to you what are the significant features of React Native. Now let's move forward and discuss its competitive advantages. If I talk about its competitive advantages, the first thing that comes to my mind that it has simple learning curve. React.js programming does not have a severe learning curve when compared to other frameworks. React is simple to learn and use it because it is a lightweight JavaScript library that just works with the view layer. The next competitive advantage is that it boosts the productivity. React employs a variety of ingenious approach to reduce the number of time consuming DOM operations which is required to refresh the interface. I hope so, it's clear to you. The next competitive advantage is it that it ensures faster rendering. The framework on which an application is constructed determines its performance. If you intend to design a high load application, this is the most important issue to consider during development. But when it comes to the React, it employs a virtual DOM as previously described for all its components. Every time a user interacts with the internet side, a new virtual DOM is formed. And finally, it is mobile centric. React Native, a cross-platform mobile app development framework was released basically by Facebook. One intangible advantage of React is that it is just not for the web development. It simplifies the app development process by combining mobile and web development. And do you know that React is also known as LearnMons Write Anywhere Library. But why? I will tell you why because it uses the same design pattern in online and mobile app development. One of its primary benefits of React.js development in mobile apps is that our React Native developers embrace all of React characteristics including portability, component reuse, modular architecture and an open source and generous ecosystem. I hope so, it's clear to you, these are some of the most important competitive advantage of React Native. Now let's move forward and discuss its competitive disadvantages. If I think about the disadvantages of React Native, the first thing comes up into my mind that it is insufficient for complex UI. If you consider complex designs or advanced interactions to be your important component, it is actually insufficient for complex UI. If you consider complex design or advanced interactions to be your important component, then React Native has some issues with it. Next disadvantage is that it has absence of some custom modules. While many custom modules are currently available, you may require some specialized component that you must design from scratch by yourself. The next disadvantage if I talk about is its issues with updating. It's difficult to maintain the app up to date with the current React Native version. In most circumstances, updating React Native version is a difficult procedure. And finally, it has lower performance. If I talk about the performance, we are talking in terms of native development. React Native cannot take advantage of all of the platform's benefit and capabilities. A native app on the other hand can truly maximize functionality and give the best user experience. These were some of the disadvantages of React Native. Now let's end our session with a conclusion. If I talk about React Native, it is an intriguing framework that allows web developers to use their existing JavaScript skills to create sophisticated mobile applications. 
It enables speedier mobile development and more effective code exchange between iOS, Android, and the web without compromising the end user experience or application quality. The disadvantage is that it is new and is still in the development. If your team can withstand the uncertainty that comes of working with a new technology and wants to develop mobile apps for more than one platform, React Native should be considered. I hope so guys, it was clear to you what exactly is React Native, what is its advantages, disadvantages and its important feature. That was all for today's session. Thank you for watching this video. Just a quick info guys. Intellipad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati.